it was about building a brand, you know, like I didn't care about, I've, I've never cared about money. You know, I've never made money make me who I am because it's bigger than that. Life is way bigger than that. A lot of people, a lot, it takes a long time for people to realize that, but mm. like money will never make you, you know, like there's a it, lot of things it, you can't it, it buy. It doesn't, doesn't make you happy. I've, I've known no, you now yeah. for is it four years now. Money is cool, we've, but we've spent a lot of time together. And uh, as long as I've known you, you've been, uh, just investing in people. Yeah, like investing for, in people, for me, investing in me, exactly. investing in exactly. you know other people like around exactly. you. I, I've just seen that. I've watched. Yeah, you just have to like and so believe in in the movement, you know. Yeah, and, and and a lot of people don't believe in 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 like their friends' movements. You know, they just it's just normal like for people to be respond negatively when someone wants to do something. Right, like, right. If someone says I want to become a photographer, their friends will be like oh you want to do that too oh yeah. come on man yeah like you have to be willing to like support you have to support it's huge like supporting makes a world of a difference like you have to be a like mindset is everything for me that's like huge for me you know mindset is like the biggest thing for me like that's what ha that's why with photography i went so far with photography because I believed in it, you know, like I know with, with nothing, right? Yeah. I started knew from nothing. I started from with taking pictures, exactly of fruit, of fruit yeah. to shooting the biggest artists in the world. You know, who would have ever thought that? Yeah. Um, but that's because I believed, you know, I, I knew you followed if I heart. put in the work, it will come, you know, yeah. uh, um, you just have to be willing to, it takes time, you know, like a lot of people want things overnight, but it's never going to happen overnight. You have to be willing to sacrifice and, and I knew for years I didn't make money. Mm. For years I didn't make money. There was times where we were, we started shooting videos. Every weekend we were doing the music video. I did not make a dollar. And I was on set for 24 hours. Mm. This was twice a week. Mm. Imagine, I was on set working for 24 hours. I didn't make a dollar. But I knew that in the future this would make me. This that's, would, that's how it is, right? Yeah. You invest, so, right? Like we no were shooting. You're doing, if you're doing something you love, right? It's not even. It's not work, right? You, it's not you work. You, it. you have to just put in the but, work, and people and will you're, follow. You're learning. You know? You're learning. Yeah. You're learning. You're learning. You're learning. You're logging in those hours. You have to just. Put, yeah, exactly. You have to put in the time. We would do, we we would do a video shoots, like we would find, just places we can do. Like we did a video shoot with YG. I couldn't even believe. Like I look back now, and I'm like, that's crazy. You know, we did a video shoot for YG in my friend's backyard. Because we didn't have a location, you Glendale. know, we didn't have money to pay Glendale. for a location. No, it was like somewhere in the valley. Okay, okay. He had a pool. Okay. So we wanted to do like a pool party. So we're like, hey, let's use your house, you know? Like, YG like gave us like, at the time, you know, he, he wasn't the major artist yet. Yeah. He was like giving us money, like pulling it out of his pocket, like 500 bucks just to pay for certain things, you know? So it's cool that I got to experience all these things. I learned a lot, yeah. like being in the hip hop industry helped me like really grow and, and, and see things, you know, it, it definitely Different perspective def too, probably. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I got to see a like, good and bad. I got to like really see how some people are like you come across good people and then you come across bad people, you know, in that, in that industry is very cutthroat, you know? And, and, um, I think that's the one thing I didn't like that mm. much that kind of made me want to get out mm. because, a lot of people would do you, you do use you in that industry, you know, and for me, it's always like stay humble, you know, mm. like work hard, stay humble. Like that's a big, big uh, uh, a quote of mine that I, that I always stand by, you know, you just have to let your work speak for itself, you know, and back then, like rappers would like make you wait hours, you know, yeah, and they wouldn't care about your time. Not everyone, but. But uh, some people would do that, and those kind of things would like you know upset us. And um, but then I got the to work with Armenian, like it's about you know. Yeah, you know, it's all about respect, respect and, and, and honor. You know, yeah. like I mean, but then again, there's artists that I work with that I loved, mm. like Two Chains. Mm. I love him. I love him. He's always been so good to me. You know, um, professional. He's there was a time we were on a video set with Two Chains and. Every video set, you go to the other photographers there, you know, like at least three or four. I still remember this. He said it out loud, announced it. 
I want every photographer who's here to leave except S.B. I was like, you know, I looked up. I was like, what? Oh, that's pretty cool, you know? I was, cause he, felt, he felt your energy. He felt your because vibe. Because yeah. he was the, we were the first ones to do his first music video as 2 Chains. So we did his first music video as 2 Chains. And then from then on, we did all his other music videos, most of his music videos, and I was always there. We were there on set for hours, you know, like putting in work for him. And we weren't making a dollar. One time I went to New York. We got hired for a video. Mm. We went to New York for 30 days. Mm. We stayed at like this crappy like apartment. Like the carpet was all wet. It was like five of us and one bed. Mm. You couldn't sleep on the floor because it was wet, you know? So so we it was tough, you know, for 30 days I was there. I made not one dollar. I didn't make one dollar, but I didn't care, you know. Yeah. At that time, I didn't care. Yeah. It was just about putting in the work. Where does that drive come from? Where do you get? Where you I'm get just a very from? like I'm. I'm just very passionate about it and, and everything. Where does that passion? You know? Where does that come from? Um, friend, people around me, you know, my parents. You know, like I seen my dad, you know, come here from Armenia and not know any English and, and grind, you know, sell cars to make money and, and, and then open a business. Started from selling cars, you know, grinded, you know, put the passion, put the work in, sacrificed for us, and then opened a, a whole a whole shop, for car parts, you know, and, and then ended up buying us a house for uh, for the family, you know, a car. He bought my M3, like, you know, straight up at the dealership. He, like, paid for, like, 80% of it down, you know? Like, that's how my dad was, like, he worked to, like, take care of us, you know? And so, like, that drives me. That makes me, that makes me want to be like that, too, you know? I'm like, okay, I got to, I got to work hard. I got to grind, you know? Sacrifice. <laughs>